In this video, we're going to look at expanding double brackets or multiplying out double brackets. An example of a set of double brackets might be x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 5. One particular method we can use to expand double brackets is FOIL. FOIL stands for first, outer, inner, last. You don't have to use this method, but it may help you keep track of what you're doing. The first terms are x multiplied by x. Both of these are positive terms, so x multiplied by x is x squared. Don't be tempted to write 2x. x times x is x squared. The outer terms are x multiplied by positive 5, which is going to give us plus 5x. The inner terms are positive 2 multiplied by x, which is going to give us plus 2x. And then the last terms are going to be the positive 2 multiplied by positive 5, which will give us plus 10. Collecting the like terms, the like terms are those terms in x, all we've now write is x squared plus 7x plus 10. And we've expanded that out. We have to be careful when we have negatives. So, for example, if we had x plus 4 and then we had x minus 3, when we expand it out, first terms would give us that x squared, and that would be positive. The outer terms would now give us minus 3x. We need to consider this minus term. The inner terms would give me plus 4x, because that's a positive 4. And then the last terms would give me positive 4 multiplied by negative 3. Positive multiplied by negative is a negative, and we'd have minus 12. So collecting these up, we're going to have x squared minus 3x plus 4x is just plus 1x minus 12. And that is our final answer. If we have two negatives, if we had, for example, x minus 5, and then we had x minus 7, first terms will give us x squared. Our outer terms will give us minus 7x. Our inner terms will give us minus 5x. And our last terms, a negative multiplied by a negative, is a positive, so that would be positive 35. Collecting these terms up, x squared minus 12x plus 35. And that would be our expansion. So in this video, we're going to work through a few examples now that we've looked at a few. You don't have to use this idea of FOIL. As long as you're multiplying each term in the brackets, then you're going to end up with what you require. You add it all up and then simplify. But FOIL may help you keep track of what you do. OK, so let's look at the first one. So what we've got here is x plus 1, x minus 3. So if we expand this out, we're going to have x squared minus 3x plus 1x minus 3. So first terms, x times x is x squared. Outer terms, x times by minus 3 is minus 3x. Then we get plus 1x minus 3. Tidying this up, we're going to end up with now x squared minus 2x minus 3. And that's our answer right there. If we look at this one now, x plus 2x minus 4. So we're going to have x squared minus 4x plus 2x minus 8. So again, tidying up x squared minus 2x minus 8. And nice and straightforward. Sometimes we don't just have x to the, or a single um, x up front. We have 2x or 3x or 4x. So this time what we need to do is 2x multiplied by x. That will give us 2x squared. 2x multiplied by minus 7 will give us minus 14x. 3 multiplied by x will give us the plus 3x. And then 3 multiplied by min minus 7 is minus 21. So we end up with 2x squared. Minus 14x plus 3x will give us minus 11x minus 21. And that is what we require. Um, let's jump to this one. We've got 3x plus 4, 2x minus 5. 3x multiplied by 2x will give us now 6x squared. 3x multiplied by minus 5 will give us minus 15x. Positive 4 multiplied by 2x will give us plus 8x. And then positive 4, negative 5 will give us minus 20. We can tidy this up. 6x squared, we're going to have minus 7x minus 20. And that is now simplified. So if you're asked to simplify, expand and simplify, this is now simplified. We need to collect those terms up. OK, let's have a look at another one. OK, this one, 4x plus y, and then we've got x plus 3y. So 4x multiplied by x is 4x squared. 4x multiplied by 3y will give us plus 12xy. 
All we're doing is multiplying 4 and 3 and then multiplying x and y. So we get plus 12xy. Then we can have now the inner terms are going to give us plus xy or yx. Remember, multiplying these two terms, they're both positive, will either give us yx or xy. So that gives us that one. And then finally, we've got plus y uh, and then we've got plus 3y. So we're going to end up now with plus 3y squared. These are like terms, so we can collect this up. 4x squared plus 13xy plus 3y squared. So that is our final answer, and that's nice and tidy. Okay, let's uh, do this one right here. Um, so what we've got here now is 3x plus 2y multiplied by 2x plus 3y. So to begin with, what we're going to have now is 6x squared. That's the first term. Now the outer terms, we're going to have plus 9xy. The inner terms, we're going to have plus 4xy. And then the final terms, we're going to have plus 6y squared. So tidying up these are like terms, we will have 6x squared plus 13xy plus 6y squared. And that is in its simplest form. So we've expanded and simplified. Okay, this one, x plus 1 all squared, this simply means this is x plus 1, x plus 1. So if you see the squared sign, we just have a repeated bracket. So x times x is going to give us x squared. x times by positive 1 will give us positive x or plus x. Then we're going to have plus another x and then plus 1. So we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. As we can see, expanding is the opposite or reverse of factoring. This one right here, 3x plus 2, and then we're going to have 3x plus 2. First terms, 9x squared. Outer terms, plus 6x. Inner terms, plus 6x. And last terms, plus 4. Collecting up, 9x squared, plus 12x, plus 4. And that is expanded and simplified. Uh, we'll do one more. Let's do this 5x minus 2. So 5x minus 2 all squared is 5x minus 2, 5x minus 2. 5x multiplied by 5x is 25x squared. 5x multiplied by minus 2 is minus 10x. We've got 5x multiplied by minus 2 again, which is minus 10x. And now we've got uh, negative 2 multiplied by negative 2, which gives us positive 4. So tidying up 25x squared minus 20x plus 4. That is expanded and simplified. You don't have to use the FOIL technique, there are other alternatives. But as you can see, it helps us keep a track of what we're doing. We expand and then simply collect up the like terms and simplify.